All right, so in this video, let's talk about what is fast API. So we are continuing our series on building a RAG LLM app. Uh, so the main components which we will use apart from RAG is fast API and Gradio. So before we integrate everything in, uh, in this app, let's talk about uh, the last two things, which is fast API and then Gradio, right? So uh, fast API is kind of a, a API framework which has like very high performance and it is very easy to uh, learn uh, fast to code and it is the code is kind of ready for production right and this wave framework is mainly for building API with Python 3.8 uh, onwards and which also supports like uh, standard Python type hints right so what this type hint is and also what is this validation of data like uh, first api also gives you like automatic and clear errors when the data is invalid so this two points which is like type hints and the validation of data that we will see how we can implement that using the python type hints and also the pydentic uh, library right and also we have this interactive uh, api docs that gets created which we also call as swagger ui so that we will also see how that works also along with all these uh, benefits uh, uh, your fast api kind of also supports the synchronous code which is kind of a concurrency which is uh, available through the use of this async function so generally what it does is uh, whenever there is a part of code which is taking a lot of time like uh, certain io operations or any other operations so the other part of the code should uh, should not wait for that to complete right so it can like the other part of the code should be uh, completed till the uh, slower part of the code gets completed right so that we can also enable and that comes by default with fast api so in case we want to specifically want to implement the uh, concurrency using fast api we can just write this async keyword in in the front of the function and that will kind of enable you to run the code in a uh, asynchronous manner right now let's talk about how this uh, works in terms of code right so few of the first uh, imports which are like uh, you need to install the first api fast api and also the uvcon like so if you go to my requirement.txt you will see that fast api and uvcon is uh, present so these two things you need to uh, install uh, before uh, going ahead with the coding part right so once that is done what we will do is we will uh, create an app if you have used a uh, flask so this is very similar to flask so using this uh, fast api you can create an app then you create a function which is kind of a synchronous function and the name of the function is hello then you kind of use a decorator to uh, like expose it to the fast api right so once you run it uh, using this slash hello you can get this output and we can like create an app or an endpoint using this, right? So it has few of the supported methods like get, post, delete, uh, all those, the, those are part of a stand, like any standard API that is also available in terms of uh, fast API, right? So now let's run this. What we need to do is you need to do this uvcon.run. Then we need to mention the app equals to uh, the file name so the file name is app.py so that's why this uh, sorry the api.py so that's why this is api and then the app name which we created here right so and then we can run this right now let's start and uh, let's try to run this uh, using a terminal right so i'll clear the console then i will do a source activate of the environment uh, then i will try to run this python api.py right so once i run this it will pick up the host and port from the env file and the api will be exposed in this url now let's what it looks like right so if i just if you just open this this is uh, this does not have anything because the only uh, endpoint which we have is slash hello right so we need to uh, write this slash hello then you will get this output which is hello world right which is being returned from this function right so uh, using uh, fast api you can like uh, expose any of the uh, python functions as an endpoint and then you can 
access it using the endpoint URL, right? So you can, um, uh, this function can be a machine learning model which the model is kind of exposed and the model is kind of making continuous prediction. And then using this endpoint, you can see the model predictions, right? Now let's make this complex. So I have this notebook where uh, I have the codes written. So I will just copy paste it inside this api.py and we will try to make this more complex, right? So I will comment out this part and now uh, the function which I am using here is uh, again hello but here uh, we are passing a parameter so we are catching that parameter and then we are passing it to this uh, function to print that value right. So I will close this and again I will try to run this one. So now if you see, if I pass my name as a parameter, it is kind of uh, displaying hello Aritra, right? So here I am, uh, you can see like I am mentioning that the type of this name should be string. Let's make it more complex, right? So we have another function. Uh, think it like this is kind of a details of the models that are available from this particular API, right? So if you want to pass your use case, and that use case based on that use case it will tell you what are the models uh, this service is uh, would be able to provide you right now if i just save it and uh, restart my api.p uh, so the function name is get models right so if i just pass get models then i pass the model name as llms right so what it will do is it will return that the models that are supported are like OpenAI and Mistral, right? So similarly, I can like ask for NLP. So if I just change this parameter to NLP and then your BERT and Robata model will be exposed, uh, will be come as output and it will tell you that for NLP model, these two models are kind of present, right? Now what happens if we uh, do something, uh, pass a parameter which is not available in this, right? Say that I pass as a parameter as image, right? Now let's see what will happen. So once I am passing this image, it is showing you as null, right? So what we can now do is we can like introduce some validation method to this uh, get items function. So how we can do is we can uh, create a pydentic object. We can create a pydentic object. So we will create create a class and we will use this enum. Enum is kind of uh, the values which are like constant type that we can use. And using this type hinting method, we will mention that use case should be of type uh, available model, right? Now let's uh, comment out this part and try to uh, run this function. Right, now if I call uh, get models and then pass as LLMs, it will return OpenAI and Mistral. But if I pass as image, then it will throw an error. Right. So it, it mentions that it should be of the value of NLP, uh, LLMs and uh, ML. Right. So this uh, all these three values are only supported. The input should be either of these three and rest cannot be supported using this endpoint. Right. So this type of validation which is available in, in uh, uh, fast API. So you can uh, leverage that. So the input validation and the output validation also you can do using a fast API. Now let's let's see how the uh, the get uh, the post method works right so if i just use this uh, approach and so what i am doing here is we have this uh, items so we will pass uh, items uh, we will have an endpoint which is slash items so in that we will post and uh, some values right so the values will be uh, we should have this fields right name and price is kind of mandatory and description and tax is kind of optional fields 
right so which and also we are mentioning that what would be the type of each of these variables like some of them are like float some of them are like string and also we are mentioning none for description and tags so that is not a mandatory field which we need to send as uh, when we are calling this post method right so now let's uh, uh, stop this and try to restart this service so if i run it now let's see how the uh, the swagger ui looks right so we can take help of the swagger ui to like uh, post the request and that the swagger ui you can access by slash docs so okay now you can see like we have this uh, method which is a post method and the name of this method is uh, items right now you can click on this and then you can do is try it out right so what you can do is you can pass the values of this uh, uh, values of this variables like name is like say laptop right then the description is uh, say macbook then we have the price say 65 thousand right and the tax is like say thousand rupees right and with that you can like uh, send this value as a json object as a json value to this uh, endpoint and it will kind of give you the results back right so you can see uh, the response body is this and it got successfully executed and uh, we can like validate that that the the validation which is which we have used using this base model which we have imported from pydentic so that validation is also working now let's see if we do something wrong and whether it is working or not right so we will do reset then what we will do is we will uh, pass this as apple then this is string so description is not a mandatory field right so i will leave it as blank then price let's let me try to send it as uh, a string value right so let me write it as mac and then tax is also optional so we will not send it and then let's try to execute this right so once it is executed you will see that unprocessable entity and it is kind of throwing this error right so uh, this error is because of this type validation which we have implemented using the pydentic class and uh, it is saying that the json is invalid right so it is expected a type of uh, a string but uh, type of float but we are mentioning it as string right so that is kind of the advantage of uh, using pydentic along with fast api we can do a lot of data validations that we need in case of we are like deploying a model we need uh, user input validation and also the model output validation that we can implement using this uh, fast api right so i hope you got an initial understanding of what this uh, fast api is and how this using like this base model which we imported from pydentic and also we can like using type hint which are uh, which we have added here as like available model or uh, like some type hint which we added as string which is, which is also present here like how we can do the data validation when interacting with the api and how fast api can enable us to do that with this i will end this video i will see you in the next video with the uh, with the implementation of gradio and the understanding of gradio and then finally we will try to integrate everything and create a uh, fully working llm app using fast api gradio and the other things which are available thank you see you in the next video